Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades, and the other day I did a video on what I do with my leftover resin and got some positive feedback on it, so I thought I would show you all the pieces that I've done uh, so far with leftover resin. They're different sizes, different shapes. all different colors. Sometimes I will um, use some leftover resin and shape it and then when I do another project I will just add it on top of the already um, shaped piece that I've previously done. And this one right here is one of my latest ones and it's going to need an extra coat so when I have some clear left over, I will do that, put it on there. It still has to be trimmed up around the edges. And usually I can just use my X-Acto knife and remove any of the sharp pieces that might be hanging on there. And this was just shaped over a um, lid. Flipped it over and I let it dry like this. It has um, the little acrylic uh, diamonds in it and then the acrylic vase filler as well. So I will put another layer of clear on the inside to smooth that out as well. And this little guy right here, he's only had one uh, layer of resin. It was not a whole lot left so I'm going to do another clear coat on this and I will sand this sharp edge down right here and um, give him a clear coat and trim up the edges a little bit and this one has the um, lingot purple sparkle in it as well as the gold and he'll be a cute little trinket dish and this one right here is another new one um, this one will definitely require another layer and I'll probably just put some clear on it. So, but um, I love how it um, stretched out when it uh, was draped over the mold. And this is the Purple Galaxy um, primary elements. And this one right here is one of my favorites. Um, I had a whole lot of leftover resin for some crazy reason and um, so when I poured it I just put a bunch of the um, uh, chunky acrylic in blue in it and the back of it here I'm gonna it has a few little places that needs to be filled but I'll just put some clear in there but I just love this. It's this is a true free form resin piece. And uh with free form you really don't have to be exact smooth and round or square or anything. It just it's free form, so it's perfectly fine. This was left over from um a vinyl record that I turned into a clock and um I poured this out and then just sprinkled some of the little um acrylic crystals around the edges and then draped it over a small little bowl and be a cute trinket dish. This one right here is from a beach pour that I did and I think it's gorgeous and I have added some additional when I had some clear I put um some of the blingit green in it and then just coated the inside with that. This also has some of the little um, acrylic crystals in it and I think it's pretty. <laughs> it's got the sparkle and the shine and the shimmer And this next little piece is just 
different colors of resin that I had for a um, round that I did on MDF board but uh, this one is still in the making I need to trim it up just a little bit I love the back of it kind of wish that was the inside but um, I will probably add another clear layer on that and this one same thing just leftover resin and it sparkles I'll do another clear coat in here when I have some extra sand down the sides and I've already added uh, some to the underside of it just little bits that I had left so and this one right here I had just a little bit of blue left and I poured it out put a bunch of the little um, acrylic crystals around it and then when I went to slump it I used a um, mason lid mason jar lid and um, let it get just a little bit of round on it and then I put one of those tall crystals in the center for um, a ring holder and this one right here I did on purpose I did have extra resin but what I did was I put it spread it out on the plastic and then I crinkled the plastic to get that wavy look and then once it was halfway cured and not running anymore I curved it into a wave and um, then later on I put it into a um, round mold and poured the blue base down in there and then added all these little um, acrylic crystals around the edge of the wave to make it sparkle a little bit and there's also a little bit of bling it blue in the uh, resin itself to give it just a little bit of a sparkle as well this is another one of my favorites and this next one just love this little dish right here now this one's finished and um, it's got some rich deep colors in it it's got some sapphire blue and some purple and the gold and it's just the gold is dripping off the back I didn't even want to trim that off I like that right there and um, it's got a little base to it it's just adorable I love it and sometimes to get that wavy look I'll prop the when it's slumped over the mold I will prop it the edges up on something to get that wave look this here is the biggest piece that I've done with leftover resin I don't know what possessed me to make so much for the project that I was working on but um, this right here is pretty good size and it's got some beautiful beautiful shimmer and the gold sparkling in it and I just love it and on this one I actually to get the wave of the bowl I actually had some balloons that I put up under the edge of the um, to make the waves around it in the bowl the back of it I need to add some more clear I'm going to sand it down first and get a smooth finish on there and then add another layer of clear and I'm going to declare this one done when I do that so I hope you've enjoyed this little video on what I do with my leftover resin and found it informative if you have any questions or comments please leave them below I love to read your feedback if you've enjoyed it please click like and share and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and ring that bell you get notified when I upload future videos and I want to thank you for watching this one and I hope to see you 
in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye.